Well, there's only two more rooms down here. I just need to make sure that I don't accidentally activate the, uh... It's locked. Symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. Well... Oh, God. It's locked. Symbol resembling... What? But I... I just unlocked everything, didn't I? I guess maybe I didn't... Maybe I unlocked stuff in the, uh... In the hallway over here. Because there are two rooms that are still... Well, that we haven't accessed. I don't know if they were inaccessible. I, no, 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 I checked one of them, didn't I? And it didn't let us in prior. So, yeah. Let's take a little, little look in here. I'm definitely... Oh, what the fuck was that? It's another door. Looks like it needs... I don't know, add a lever. And that scares me. I don't know what we're going to need to unlock that. Maybe that's our escape route. More of you, huh? Can't carry any more items. Well, go fuck yourself, game. What we got in here? Yes, there is. Open it. You know what you're doing. There's a green half. One? Fuck off. How fucking rude. I can literally just find a regular herb. Yes, get out of my inventory immediately. I will devour you. Hey, buddy. Didn't expect that now, did you? Facts. Two, sanitation division. Attention. Manager of Sanitation, from the Raccoon Div Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressees only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the content... Uh, uh, there we go. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent t virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers who have been infected by the T-Virus have died. <coughs> it has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of the incident are starting to show symptoms of the T-Virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has, already been, has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. They expect many casualties to follow. However, yet, however yet unfortunate. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Wow. And you're just getting away with all this bullshit. Security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you transmit the passcode to the system. Okay. Oh! Okay, it's opened up one of those. Transmitting the passcode seems to unlock something. I wonder what the fuck is behind there. There seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Oh my Christ, I probably don't want to do that, huh? I'm gonna leave you behind, because I don't know what the hell you are and you scare me! Ah, uh, incendiary nades right there. I'll remember you're here. Slide filter. Do I have- Oh yeah, but of course, I just used a thing. So I can now pick up these and not- Oh no no no, I'm not gonna take them though. Because instead, I wanna take this- these ink ribbons. Because you are possibly far more important. Um... I might go save. I'm gonna go save, because I'm really afraid. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I also want to dump a few things, but I need to make sure I've got these MO discs on me, because it's clear that that is now, uh, pretty necessary to progress. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, it looks like I just checked the map. This must be the visual data room. Because, uh, this is now open, and it definitely didn't used to be. And I'm pretty sure that's the only one that we opened on this floor, right? Because the one below us just opened straight up easy. Oh, well, hello, there's some first aid right there, and what's this over here? The final MO disc! Okay, good. Well, that's a good sign. Is there a reader in here, though? If there ain't a reader, I'ma be very disappointed. Um... Ooh! Shotgun ammo for the first time in literally forever? I can't carry it, but I mean, I'll be back here soon. What do we got in here? Security protocols. Heliport for executive use only. Oh, level one. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. 
Basement level one, passage alley port entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator slash the elevator stops stops during emergencies. Basically just telling you, you're fucked. Basement level two, visual data room. For use by special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with a, with Keith Arving. Oh, what a boy. Room manager. Basement level three, prison slash sanitation division. Controls the use of the prison. Mm, prison, huh? Maybe that's what we're opening. At least one consultant researcher. E. Smith, S. Ross, or... Wesker. Albert fucking Wesker must be present if viral use is authorized. She's not gonna figure it out though, is she? She's a dumb woman. I'm joking. Triple lock door slash entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers, researchers deactivates the lock. Power room slash in this room nitro compound is used. I don't know why there's a slash there. As the primary Fuel source of power. That must have been what we saw. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access the output terminals or use and access of the output terminals is limited to the authorized senior researchers. Basement level four, which I didn't know existed. Regarding the progress of tyrants after the administration of the T-virus. Illegible hereafter. You're not gonna figure out that Wesker is blatantly not on your team, you stupid bitch? Okay then. There's gotta be something else here, right? Can I can I open this up? Is there a door here? No, but it does look like I can go in. There's a thing in there! Get in! What about you? Can't do anything there. Damn it. What's this thing? A passcode entry terminal. I ain't got a fucking passcode. I guess, uh. Hmm. I guess I gotta maybe use the slides to get the code or something? Or maybe just use the slides to get something else and come back here later. Umbrella. Bioorganic weapon official report. It's a big dog. Calling him Cerberus. I didn't know that. Neptune. That's the shark. Hunter. That's the big lizard bastards. Tyrant. That's the large man who we fought in Resi Zero. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group Development Staff. It's him. It's, it's, it's Wesker. It's fucking Wesker. Oh, they've done this so well. 8462. She just ain't figuring it out, is she? What a goddamn moron. 8. No. 8. 4. No. What? 8. What the fuck was that? 4. Sick. It was desperate for me to hit 9. Hello? What the fuck are you here for? Will you take the laboratory key? Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. Well, that was worthwhile, as if we didn't know what being eaten looks like. I can use it- I don't want to watch it again, no! Man, something we found right at the start of the game. Only usable right at the end. It's kind of cool. Doesn't seem to be anything important. Okay, we got the key- oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, we'll have to come back here real soon, because I want to- I want to take things from this room. I'm gonna go back and get that shotgun ammo. Maybe bring out the shotgun for one last ride! Um, as we try and find all those ammo discs, because I'm sort of- more hellbent on doing that than I am on pretty much saving everything else. I want to know what the hell is behind there. Because it seems like right now I got the laboratory key, I can go and get that nitro thing, I can start the damn self-destruct sequence. But I don't want to do that until I've, you know, been in the MO thing. Maybe we can start the self-destruct in the MO thing. That is also a possibility. Well, I imagine the lab key should open pretty much every door left in the lab, right? Which means that these two, these two motherfuckers right here, use the laboratory key. Does this one also open? Use the laboratory key. Oh, no further use, which means that one is still stuck. We don't know how to use you yet. Ah. Uh, make our way into the big one? Oh, I think the big one's the right one. Oh, I think I might have fucked up. 
Don't start self-destruction, please. Hi. What are you? No, seriously. The hell are you? And what do you expect from me? What the fuck am I doing here? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh! I can climb up through here, apparently. What the hell is waiting for me, though? Ah! She's aiming at something. What is it? What are you? Ah! Oh! Ow! What are you? I have never ever seen one of those before. And I never ever want to again. Oh, you disgust it. It's like a blend of the human zombies and the, and the big spiders. No. Various precision instruments used in surgery. Like, fuck it, melted. I want that thing to go. Oh, fuck off. I got, like, no ammo in that now. I'm gonna have to switch out to my shoddy. I left my magnum behind like an idiot. Because I thought we'd be fine. Uh, what am I doing here? I don't, I don't know why I'm here. Um. Fuck me. Uh. Which one did I come out of? I'm gonna try going through this one, because I, I think we came out of the other. I probably really wasted some ammo there, huh? We could, it looks like we probably could have avoided these encounters entirely. Where are we? Shop is full of various antitoxins. A body bag lies on the simple bed. The date in indicated on the bag is quite old. What are you? Battery pack. I mean, it's something. Security system pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. MO disc. Okay, I'm glad I came this way. Oh, I thought I came this way just to get my ass kicked, but no, it was worth it. That was a, that was a worthwhile ass kicking. And that's the first one. We just need one more. Transmitting the passcode seems to... Yeah, I know what you do. I know what you do. Oh, Christ. Um, how do we leave? What am I doing here? I guess I'm going now? I don't want to take on any of those things again. I don't know what they are. I don't care what they are. We got our MO thing. We're leaving. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know why we can fit through there. If we were playing as Chris, we absolutely couldn't. Um, hello? How do I move you out my way? That wasn't good. What the hell am I- Okay! Shotgun rounds. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. Um, though I don't know why I'm here. I think- I think maybe I went into the wrong one. Yeah, let's, uh, let's never do that again! And immediately- Right, we gotta find out where the hell I came from. Oh, this one over here! Which means I absolutely messed up and missed a lot of shit there. Huh. I wonder if I could have just- I could have straight up pushed you that way. That's so much easier. God damn it. But they're introducing a new enemy type right at the end of the game again. I don't like that. They did that in Resi Zero and it's scary because you don't know how to beat them. Uh, before we go any further, I'm putting my grenade launcher away. It's it's useless now. It's it's out of it. two grenades. They're not going to do much. I'll see you guys soon and then we'll head through that door. Okay. Here we are once more, with the, oh my god, possibly second to last door in the entire game. I, I doubt it. I imagine there is another section, but I mean, once you blow this place up, what more is there? Will we be destroying the Spencer fucking mansion? It's possible, I guess. Does it want me to head here immediately? I, I don't know. Hmm. I imagine you're locked. Oh, no, there's another massive area here. Holy shit. Uh, do I want to go down to the stairs, or...? You're a large elevator. Don't like you. The elevator isn't working. Looks like you have to operate the switch on its right-hand side. Well, I don't think we want to do that yet. There didn't seem to be any real point. Um, should I go into the... Literally getting spooked by the fucking sparks now. How did it take this game? This long to put me so on edge, man. I appreciate not being on edge the entire fucking game, but... Oh, fuck off, man. What are you? You sound like one of those new fuckers. But where? Where are you on the fucking ceiling? Oh my god, no! Never do that again! They can only ever take two hits, as far as I can tell, from any gun, be it my nade launcher, be it my shoddy. Makes me- uh, no! Oh, God! What are you here for? I really don't like that. I hope I made it to the right one. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? 
This doesn't look good. I mean, it's the only way I could have gone. I think. I think? I think? I don't know where I... Turn back. Turn back, turn back, turn back. There's these things everywhere, and I'm just not ready for it if I haven't checked out that other door. Which means now we gotta run right past an endless of you! How fast are you? Oh, don't shut the door, you fucking idiot! Oh my god, die then. Or at least get on the fucking ground. Oh my god. She is useless. You can't make her go through the damn door half the time. And now she's been beat the fuck up. She's in caution. You moron. Girl, that is your fault and definitely not mine, obviously. Now go away through here, shall we? Please have something nice. Please don't be endless pain at the hands of some fucking overgrown insect arseholes. Oh, it's a save room. Okay, unexpected, but not unwelcome. Definitely not unwelcome. Thanks for the shoddy shells. I decided to bring the magnum, by the way. Is there, um, is there an item box in here? There is. What are you? Just regular nades? You know, that's really good. Because... First off, let me, let me, let's save. Because why the fuck not? Like, might as well save as often as we can, because it's throwing endless of them at us right now. Endless ink ribbons. Uh, I wonder if I've just got a green herb hanging around that'll heal me up, like, by one. There ain't, I know there's a few upstairs that I could use, but... I don't know, it just feels safer than using an actual, um, first aid spray right now to me. Because pretty much everything is safer than using an actual first aid spray. Right, now there should be a bunch of nades. Regular nade shells. That's incendiary. Where's the regular ones? It's literally impossible to drop them. I know you're here. Right, so our grenade launch can have 11 regular nades whenever we want it to. I'm gonna carry around this first aid spray as well, just because I know these assholes are gonna tear us up. Chairs and supplies lie scattered about. Walls are co covered with dozens of claw marks. I'm starting to think this place ain't quite as safe as the name Safe Room uh, suggests it to be. But oh well. Oh. Well. Okay. Alright, we can do this. We can do this, we just need to always watch that camera angle, because as soon as the camera angle fucks in the arse, everything is a problem again. Get the hell out of here! I'm pretty sure these guys just constantly come out of those little holes in the wall. So, uh, it's not worth trying to stop them from what I can tell. Oh, there's more! They're everywhere! Are you kidding me? Uh what are you? What does this do? Lab self-destruct mechanism- Oh my god. Oh my god, really? What am I doing here? There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. I don't know. System won't initialize. This needs some kind of fuel to get started. Where do we deal with its fuel? I'm so glad I saved because I have no idea what I'm doing and there are enemies quite literally everywhere. Um... in both rooms as well, so I... I really don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. Uh... <laughs> I do wonder what's down this way, though. Aha! Found a thing! Warning, fuel may be- may explode if shaken or jarred. So don't get- don't get hit, basically. A refueling device for the power room. Not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Well, I assume the empty capsule can't explode. Hi. What? Are you fucking- How did you- How did you not get hit there, you absolute shit mongrel? Uh, go! Okay. Okay. So I know what we're doing. We have to go back to that room. We have to refuel our fucking bomb. Or, uh, yes. Yeah, it is a bomb. We're about to blow up the world with it. Uh, I'm gonna take some first aid spray. We're gonna be fine. Um, we have to refuel our capsule. I have to shove it in the thing. I just wonder if you have to do it in time or something. I doubt we have to do it in time, so I'm I'm gonna refuel it, come back, save, and then do my thing. Just leave it in a box forever, just some completely radioactive nightmare fuel. Uh, will this not blow up the entire world? Is that not what this is gonna do? What, what are you going to do? Well, here it is. I believe there seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it, yes. Please don't hurt me. It looks like a refueling device. Set the capsule into place. 
I really hope this isn't timed. It can't also be timed, can it? Timed and chimeras? No! The main ingredient of the fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Boop! Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't result in a fatal explosion, now did it? That was so risky, I could have so died instantly. Oh, the main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could kill me. So I've got to do all of that area. All of it. At this fucking snail pace. And I know what I'm doing. I'm bringing these incendiary nades with me. By the way, I had to kill a fucking red boy on the way here, so thank fuck it wasn't, uh, wasn't explosive by the time it showed up, because I nearly- I did get grabbed! I'm sure that could have resulted in a fucking, uh, accidental jihad. The worst kind. Can- it looks like you can tease it a little bit and get just a little extra speed. This is, um, this is kind of horrible. We're gonna have to be- thing is, do firing weapons cause problems? It, 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 like jolts, right? It said jolts. That makes me think firing weapons. I don't know. I don't know at all. I'm really scared of this. Like, quite seriously, I'm, uh, I don't know if I fucking jiggle physics. They'll calm us down. I don't even think I'm able to do this. I think this might be a little bit beyond my skill level. If I'm really unable to run while carrying this explosive fucking whatever the hell. I've got a pocket nuke. Oh my god. I keep nearly going to run just because I think it's normal. Yeah, we're gonna have to save here. Just leave it in the box. Everything will be fine. It won't destroy every single inch of our stuff. Now, are we literally just doing this so the elevator works? Is that, is that the only reason this exists? Oh god, I ran! Jesus! That's what it feels like to me. Seems like maybe you have to, like, um, ra run for a certain amount of time before it causes any issues, but... Either way. Fucking, fucking big spook. Big, big spook. Oh boy. It's not even, like, the first room. I have to get through three rooms of this shit. I don't know if this is possible, man. Imagine doing this without saving. How can people do this game without fucking saving? I don't get it. Okay, well, we've saved. Oh, or like on a no death run, no damage run, when you're not even allowed to run, or... Oh, God, there must be so much luck involved. Especially if shooting does cause you problems. Which I can only imagine it does. Oh, I'm so afraid. Okay. 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 It's time. Oh, fuck me, it's time. Ah! <laughs> well? What else have we got? Wait a minute, maybe... Maybe I only need to get that far. That makes sense. That's where we found it. Maybe I don't need to jam it all the way into the, uh, into the third room. If that's the case, then I'm relatively happy about this. I don't feel good about it, that, that definitely. But, uh, I'm also very tempted to do it. It says may. It says running... Right, which way am I going? Is it this way? Because running might cause a problem. What if I just do bursts of running? That seems fine. What the fuck? That wasn't stressful in the slightest. Not a single enemy showed up. Not necessary to use this now. Have I gone the wrong way? Fuel supply device is for the power and blah 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 blah. Not working. So the capture window place. We've done it. That was easy. What? Why was that so pathetically e at the game? It's bigged that up to be absolutely terrifying. Not a single enemy decided to show. I don't know if things are still like... Maybe I need to go activate something in this room, because otherwise, why does that room exist? Yeah, I'm gonna go have a look around, because it, it, it looked like we could maybe interact with a few of the machines. Um, once we set up power- okay, let me- I gotta work out where I am, gotta work out where I am. Down this one. Oh no, you don't, arsehole. I never actually need to fight any of you. Except you. You ran around me anyway. If I was smart, I wouldn't have had to take that shot, but uh... I didn't wait, he's done that before as well. Like, I knew he was gonna do that, but I was just- I always get a little bit nervous. Oh. oh wow, you got blown to pieces! Oh. 
Oh, it's it's the self-destruct mechanism. There's no power to the main elevator. Oh, I gotta start it up. Right? I don't know. I mean, yeah? That is not the sound I expected. That sounded adorable. I don't... I feel like I haven't explored this area enough. We're going out here and we're going to check the sort of corridor places that don't actually lead to anything. Because we're still looking for like an MO reader. And I don't know where that could be unless in like a... Oh god, fuck, fuck, fuck. Preferably not while you're here, assholes. Come on. Yes! Oh my god, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Yeah, 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 insert, 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 ignore the murder right behind us. And we did it! I think. Yes, okay, okay, we can activate it. And we can finally see what's in there. And also go into the elevator. I just wonder what the actual thing we're meant to do is. Like, oh, hopefully we never have to deal with them again. Swear to god, if like the final boss just a big one of those. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not a fan. And forgot there was more to this place. <laughs> Thought we were done for a sec. No, no, it's that door. That door gives me issues. It's got such weird detection of where you are. Ugh. I think we handled that pretty damn well. I thought that was gonna go terribly, and it only went moderately shit. So, uh, we're gonna go save, and I'm gonna go find that prison. I know it's down here. I can just never quite remember where. And I gotta make sure I don't go into the uh, elevator without doing that first as well. Well, time to see what has been hidden behind this fucking door for as long as we've been here. Do I have to activate all of these levers? Levers for releasing the door locks. It looks usable, pull it. Pull them all, damn it, come on. Levers for releasing the door locks. Yes, 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 I have saved. So if this is uh, disastrous, we can always just do this later. But there we go! Oh, what an adorable little sound. Now what the hell is in here? Cause clearly... Oh, I don't know though, like which one is the wrong one? Which one is the right one? Oh, this goes deep. Hello? The fuck is going on here? Yet another locked door, are you kidding me? Hello? Jill? It's one of us! Chris! You're all Chris! Chris! Hey! Jill, there's what are you something doing in here, though? Down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Yeah, of course what that's gonna work, Jill. Wait, I'll be now, back it's to get you It's a jail! What okay. do you think? No sightseeing, though. Wonderful voice acting, Chris. I'm so glad I'm not playing as you. Somehow you're worse than Jill. Um... Hmm. All right, Mr. Redfield, I get the feeling we're going to be blowing this place up. And uh, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, since those emotes seemed optional, it would have been possible to uh, allow Big Papa Red down there to die. I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, just maybe, if we hadn't found those and we blow up the facility, which I assume we're going to do because it's sort of been hinted at a couple of times, uh, both when we nearly did it like five seconds ago and also in a couple of notes, um, I have the feeling that, like, we'll be timed to get out of here or something. Like, being attacked by constant ki- Uh, like, th those- whatever the hell you call them? The Crimsons and the fucking- The bug bastards that have shown up that we still don't know the names for. I wish you could read up more on lore of, like, each one. Actually, saying that, we sort of have, haven't we? We got told about Cerberus, we got told about a few recently. Rusted shut. We're so getting in there eventually. But for now. For now. Into the elevator we go. It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch, absolutely. The elevator is working. Jill. Really, a Barry? You could have at least waited up for it, you know. Let's go. I am. You're. Why are you such an asshole, man? What the hell? Oh well, I'm glad we got him and his gun. Him and his gun are way better than me and my many, many guns, of which I brought three just in case. I brought the shoddy, I loaded up the nade launch with incendiary, and I brought the magnum, which might get its first fucking uh, try out here. 
Depending on what the hell we're doing, are you just gonna come with me? Are you actually gonna follow me for once? Oh my god, he might be. He fucking is! Oh, cool, man! We got ourselves a partner! I must say, I did not expect this. I've only brought one Healy. Oh my god, that was badass. I only brought one Healy, which may have been a mistake. It's Wesker. Oh, Wesker. shit. Thank you, Barry. Well, oh, Barry, you? come on, man! Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I trusted you, I asshole! I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you Won't should be worried too much, Jill? dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. Barry. <laughs> he must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh. Umbrella. Jill, you've had chunks taken well, out of you before that knocks you down. It even had a cartoony it, but sound. it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. He's been Though sucking you off, hasn't he? I think I was following Umbrella's orders. Umbrella told what? you to get sucked off. What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. No, no, it's not time for show and tell. Oh, Barry, why did I trust you? Well, oh, you'd probably have died otherwise. You look familiar. You look, uh, you look very familiar, my friend. Barry, please come back. Come on. God. So, potentially the final boss of this it's game was sort of just a meh boss in Resi Zero. Thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Oh! oh. Barry! <laughs> oh, I Barry. love you, man! Forgive me. No, you're not to that blame. That was awkward. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Wesker, you motherfucker. We're taking him on! We're taking him on! <laughs> You're horrifying, my friend! Jesus! Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. You want a piece of me? <laughs> oh, I think it might do, buddy. Premature. Premature? Yeah, that was a badass one-liner, wasn't it, Wesker? Ow! Oh, well, that animation looks like it's ripped right from the PS1. You viral cultured freak. Yeah, that was really intense, girl. You really upset him. Look at him, his feelings are- Oh my god, his feelings are so hurt! There's no time for that! What do you mean there's no time for that? I'm trying to save Barry! <laughs> oh no. Can I maybe knock him down? I wonder. Or set him on fu- You know what, it's Magnum time. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Oh my god, that's the first shot we fired from it, and it did absolutely nothing. What a goddamn shame! Get up! Then what is it time for? Machine used to compile experimental data. Do something! What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. I thought it was just pro-generated, whatever. The prototype parasite, which we have delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. I like how he's just waiting for me to have a little bit of a, little bit of a read. The sample specimen took the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery. But now everything is clear to me. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. 
And from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. Your observation gave me more insight into my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G. It surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the B.O.W.C. history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. Machine use compile experimental data would do a thing! Do a thing! There's no time for that, what do you mean? A number of capsules, each containing an unspeakably ugly creature. Ow! Ah! 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 Ow! Ow! You do damage, sir! I did not bring nearly enough meds. Ah! Oh, right in the cock every time. Poor guy. Okay, we should probably reload. I can't move while reloading. Oh, this is fucking awful. Am I meant to leave? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I should probably just go, huh? But can I defeat this thing? I'm just gonna- I'm gonna keep trying. I don't care. Where are you, buddy? Boom! Wait, that's it? <laughs> it was literally one more hit? Oh, that is embarrassing, my friend. You're pathetic. Is it now time to wake Barry. up the Bazmeister? Barry. Seems to be. <sighs> we need you and your big gun, sir. Okay. We're in so much easier with that thing. Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. <laughs> Wesker. He's gone. How? First, let's How? Just get out of here. You slippery shit. How did that happen? Okay, well, there's got to be more. There's got to be more here. Can I... There was something like, ah, you can't do that right now. No time for that. Ah, somewhere around here. I believe it was this. Panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. So if it was locked, how the hell did Wesker get out? You fucking nightmarish bastard. Okay. Is the thing still gone? You're not still- I mean, you are still here, aren't you, Tyrant? Can I- can I- can I end you? Can we make sure you have no face by the end of this? Cut off his head or something? I mean, that's never really stopped him in later Resi games, but in this one, that seems a pretty surefire way of doing it. No, 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 no! Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry! I knew this was coming, it just had to, didn't it, after we heard about self-destructing. Alright, we're going up. We're going up. We're getting Chris. I just wonder if it'll let me save. Is it a cutscene, or is this just game? I, I don't know. Either way, the tyrant is dead, and it was unbelievably pathetic, and it's- Well, I guess it's as pathetic as it was in, uh, in Resi Zero. Go, go, go. Barry, where are you? Come on, man. All right, I'm gonna save. Do you think I have time to save? Do you think I've actually... Am I actually timed here, or... Or what? I don't know. Either way, I need to take some healers. We're gonna get to full health, and I'm still gonna carry on my first aid spray at the same time, because otherwise I will be very afraid. Uh, switch items, switch items. Ink ribbon! I'm gonna save over another slot, though, just in case I have left this too late. Um, ah, uh, mixed herbs, perfect. All right, let's get to full health. Why, thank you, sir. Probably just fill up my items here with uh, with meds, but I don't know. I like to be a badass. Let's go in dry. Let's go in uh, entirely unsafe. Oh god! Oh god! Hurry! Hurry! Give me out! Mm, it takes so fucking long. Do you think I have time to put away my save things? Yeah, I can't be bothered. It doesn't actually seem like it's time. It probably is, but there's no timer. And I mean, if it gives me time to save Chris, then it probably gives me. Uh, surely it'll give you time to save. It wouldn't make you fight that thing over and over and over if you fucked it up, right? It probably would, it's Resi. Who am I kidding? Ah. Uh, when does this guy hang out again? And why have I never been in there? God, I don't remember where anything is! Okay, yes I do, yes I do, it's at the end of the big long corridor. Well, you're not leaving this place without Chris, surely! It's not his fault I didn't play as him! No! Oh my god, you stupid camera angle piece of shit. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's getting me so killed. Go! Okay, the only reason the corridor looks wrong is because I've already opened the door. I was getting really confused as to what the hell that, uh, a big area was. Uh-oh. Please don't be able to come out of here. Good! Okay, and I don't have to waste time opening the levers, because I've technically already done it. 
Oh man, I'm gonna have to watch a little playthrough of this on like the OG, like the like um PS1 graphics and everything, and just see just how much it's changed. Especially this final section. I want to know what the tyrant looked like. It'll be so cool. Surely the lock is open now, right? Surely. Lock is released. Then come on. Oh, releasing all locks. I just had it in the uh, in the voiceover. Now that makes a little sense. Chill. Sorry about the wait. <laughs> Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of. Everyone's now, dying. Locks. We should now, move. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't really know where the hell I'm going. I guess we just need to go all the way up there, right? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> uh, Chris? Chris, you want to stop having a goddamn seizure and come with me? Yeah, we're just going to go up to as high as we possibly can. Not get murderized. And, oh god, do you think Barry could just do it for us? So Barry will just come do on. it for us. Oh my god, there's a thing going on. Oh, that's just him disappearing. Because everyone loves to leave me behind in this game. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Not like I just saved your utter existences. Chris, I don't even think you have a gun, do you? We just immediately find Chris outside, mauled to death by a chimera. Uh-oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Please tell me they haven't made it to anywhere else in the damn facility, because they're so annoying. Go! Go, 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 go! Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're okay. Doesn't seem to be- I mean, I burnt all the, uh, crimsons around here, right? I could potentially eat a herb while I'm on the ground? So I did take a little bit of a beating, and if we're about to enter, like, a final boss fight, I wanna be- I wanna be full fucking health, right? Probably should've waited till I'd taken another hit for that, but, uh, eh, we're probably sorta maybe kinda fine. Should I save again here? We've saved Chris! No one's exploded yet! I think I'm gonna make yet another save. Another waste of time, but I don't think it's gonna matter so much. I don't even think that this is actually all that time. Though I could be very wrong about that. Okay, with the ladder we go! We're saved, kind of, I think I put my ribbons back. I'm sort of, you know, I'm a little bit scrambled considering on, everyone is dying. Hurry. There we go, there we go, there we go! What do you mean? Look, can I just open the damn trunk and fucking drink, damn it, game? Thank you. Oh, we can just straight up open this door. I noticed there's an achievement for visiting every area, and I don't think I've done that. That was like an, a rusted... What the fuck? Where am I? Are you guys not coming? Have I gone the wrong way? Have I gone a very, 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 very wrong way? I don't... know. Well, I'm gonna take one of these, because, I mean... If it's, uh, if it's some nice first aid spray, I will definitely not be turning you down. Let's take a little look. Come here. Yes, 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 yes! Okay, we got some more heals. That is a very, very, very good sign. But I'm gonna leave my, uh, gonna leave my final slot open just in case, even though I could probably just get rid of my shotgun ammo and that'll be an open slot. There we go. But either way, I'm leaving that there. Brad! Brad is alive! Your last chance. What, we just not even gonna try? I know it didn't work last time, but that doesn't mean it isn't gonna work this time. Oh, you guys finally decided that, yeah, we should probably leave, huh? Yeah, good idea, guys. Good idea. What is this? What the fuck is that? Fuse unit? Oh, well, I'm glad I left a fucking slot open. Where is this going? Oh, right in here. Well, that's easy enough. Can you imagine if I just didn't have an open slot for that? And we just blow up purely because I didn't have enough pockets? God damn. Three minutes, that's nothing. Damn it. I mean, We're that's loads. There. Jill, you just hit in contact with Brad. No. We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris. Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Wait, I don't get a choice? Oh, these motherfuckers could die. And it also means they're not gonna be helping me with the boss fight. So thanks, shitheads. I hope they show up like halfway through. Wait, I actually have three minutes and half of it is spent in this damn cutscene? Are you kidding me? I mean, I guess it makes sense because it did say three minutes, but that's not fair. Oh, what do I have three minutes to do? I don't understand. What is this? Okay, a big box. We well, take signal rockets. Okay, so we just straight up send this guy a sign, right? Did I use it right now? I can't. That was easy. 
I mean, Wesker's absolutely gonna come here and slaughter me, but these were just so conveniently out here. I know it's early pad and everything, but you'd think someone would have already used this. Oh no. Guys? Jill. Oh! You made that was it. easy. And this is about to get a whole lot worse. Hey, buddy! Oh, come on, Barry's gun is massive, and Chris is dead. Wow, that's kind of ruined the law, hasn't it? Come on, Barry! Get him in the heart, you moron. Of course, he just decided not to reload. Okay, 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 is there a way to keep this boy alive? Is there a way? It's gotta be a way, right? Uh, uh, fucking incendiary, go, 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 go! Keep Barry alive! Keep Barry alive! No! Drop him, damn it! Yes! Yeah, motherfucker! Please tell me you're going for me now. Am I just meant to- Oh, that looks like he's after me and not Barry. Come on! Why is the range on this nade launcher like an old man's urine? Come on! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, shit. This one's gonna hurt. Can we move in time? No! Definitely not! I don't have a fucking spine anymore! Oh, he looks angry. So cool! I love the way he moves around, and that's basically crippled us, so let's, uh, let's immediately take some more, and I'm moving back to that assault shot. I love you, Magnum, but I kind of need this ammo gone. Uh, do we really just need to kill him inside? Oh, Jill, we've done it. it. Kill it, whatever it is. Who are you? Brad? Oh, Brad's just hanging- Ow, I'm trying to pick up my gun, damn it. Well, at least we got a rocket launcher before we got absolutely shafted. Can I heal? Oh, don't you dare hurt Barry. Okay, we can probably take one more, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm also going to combine while we're here, open up another slot, because he might be sending us some ammo. I don't know. Ah! Oh, that's how it's got to be! Nice! So while the actual cool people, meaning Billy and Rebecca, are dealing with the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II gone zombie, fucking, we're just out here dealing with something they killed like three times. Oh yeah, Jill. Nowhere near as cool as Rebecca, apparently, but whatever. I mean, to be fair, Rebecca was just sort of turning valves while Billy murdered everybody. But, you know. Oh, free cremation for Kenneth. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, job place benefits you get around here. Aww. Aww. That's sweet. Bet it looked disgusting on PS1. <laughs> oh, that was really cool. I've done it. I beat Resi 1. One of the most iconic, seminal gaming franchises is now under my belt. Not the whole thing, obviously, but the beginning. Resi fucking 1, Jill Sandwich. I have experienced that mess. And it feels so cool. The game still absolutely holds up. I assume the gameplay is basically the same as from uh, PS1 era, except minus my um, tank controls, which is fair enough. And I'm so glad they did, because can you imagine trying to do that? Um, oh, I know why that thing was bigged up to be so difficult. Uh, like the, the carrying the bomb thing? Tank controls, that would have been awful with that. But yeah, without them, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly doable and was not scary at all. But man, I really enjoyed that. I am tempted to try a Chris campaign, but it won't be for a while because I like I did this all in three days. Um, I don't want to spend another three days doing sort of the same shit. But that is Rebecca that I'm seeing there, isn't it? So I mean, Chris's campaign features Rebecca. I guess it makes sense because she that you know you see the Spencer Mansion at the end of Zero. Ah, huh. maybe I will have to check that out. But for now. For now, this zombie and etc. was one of the credits there, amazing. But yeah, right now, I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to be jumping into that. Uh, I may watch a, like, playthrough of it myself just to see the differences, or maybe just Chris's cutscenes. Because uh, I know the gameplay is also different. I know he plays completely differently, he can take more hits, he does a bit more damage, but he can't carry as much. Or something like that. And I get the feeling that, well, dude, I can barely carry anything as Jill. 
So if Chris is uh, lacking those man pockets, then I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think that sounds terrifying. Um, but yeah, I completed Jill Sandwich campaign, and it was amazing. Presented by Capcom, who are currently absolutely killing it. Jill, Fucking the Resi remakes. Job. Resi Sa I did okay. Where's my grade? Because I got a D in Resi Zero. I want a little bit more than a D this time around. Creatures Dispag 90, Ink Ribbons used 35, Health Items used 28, Ammo used 264. I got a closet key. Oh, I see, a new costume has been unlocked. You can change in the dressing room. Huh. Well, that was, uh, that was fucking wonderful. I really enjoyed that. The genre desperately needs to come back because survival horror in this style, in the Silent Hill, in the Resi style, re early Resi, like classic Resi, Absolutely fan fucking fantastic. Once again, we've unlocked hard mode. I played normal last time. Wow. That was really cool. Like, I I'm just taken aback by how well it held up. You can see why one of the most successful franchises in history spawned out of this. It works. It still fucking works. I'm sure the remake and the pretty textures and the voice acting changes have really been a part of why I think that. But the sheer gameplay, the sheer formula is so good even after all these years even after what 24 years now since resi 1 came out with that dreadful box art and it's still amazing so thank you so much for watching in the next one we will either be doing a chris campaign which i might do on stream if i'm going to do it i'll stream it because i want to sort of just have it be a little bit more of a relaxed affair where i uh it, it'll sort of take my mind off the fact I'm playing through the same game with a couple minor differences, you know? Because I'm not really one of those people who'll jump right back right in again on a higher difficulty, especially if I was... Unless it's a game like, I don't know. Unless it's a game that sort of thrives on that. This game, the difficulty comes from the lack of supplies as opposed to the difficulty of the enemies. I'm sure the difficulty of the enemies does go up, and I'm sure there's more of them, but, I don't know, the fact that I would have left supplies and I already struggled quite a bit doesn't particularly appeal to me right now. If I jumped into Chris, I'd do it on the same difficulty. Maybe lower, just to make it really quick and easy. Just so I could see shit. I don't know. Either way, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. There's some amazing stuff going on right now. Some incredible stuff in the past that you can go back and watch. I'm sure you will find something in my backlog that you enjoy. And some even more incredible stuff coming in the future. I guarantee you won't regret it. Don't sue me. But for now, this is Strike signing out. Actually, please do like, subscribe, share, comment, all that amazing stuff. It really does help out both me and the channel. And I will see you in the next one. But for now, this is Strike signing off. I will see you in the Resident Evil 2 remake. Goodbye!